Hello, welcome to another Social Sunday. My name is Katherine Lynn. I'm an artist with the Milton Artist Guild. Today I'm going to show you how to do stippling with acrylic paint. Stippling is a technique that many artists use, including Monet and Van Gogh, and what that means is using small dots to make a large picture. If you've ever looked up close at some of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings, you'll see that he uses stippling a lot. So for stippling, you will need a canvas, acrylic paint. I prefer Liquitex, that's my favorite brand, but any acrylic paint works. You may use a palette, or if you're just starting out and you're not sure you're going to paint, foil is a good alternative to using a palette. So for stippling, you can use a chopstick, a dowel, or a paintbrush because you're making a bunch of dots and so if it's your first time I suggest using like the fat end of a chopstick or the fat end of a any kind of wooden stick because you're going to be stamping like you're stamping the same kind of circle like dash over and over again and you need a picture that you're going to make to get started and not only that you need a pencil so let's get started. I've chosen a picture of a cat here. The reason I chose a cat, and you can choose an animal, that's my suggestion, is that artists like Van Gogh and Monet, they often do natural items, like easily recognizable things. So that's why I think animals are a good place to start because it's important that your first picture that you make with this technique be one that you're proud of. So to start out, you'll want to sketch your picture. It doesn't have to be perfect because this will be covered in mostly acrylic paint. I'm drawing the ears. And a lot of painters know that the worst part of painting is actually drawing the picture out. So that's why I really do the drawing part fast and really not focus on it because I'm, I'm counting on the painting part to be more fun and the colors to make it look more like what it's supposed to look like. So if you're looking at this and you're like, wow, that does not look like the cat, that's okay because with the colors, it's gonna look a million times better. And I've chosen this cat off of Google. You can use a cat that you're familiar with. There are the arms rest of the body. Okay. So again, I am very well aware that this does not look like the cat, like at all right now, and that's okay. But the good thing about acrylic paints is that it goes on very opaquely. So it's not like watercolor where if you make a mistake, you're kind of stuck with that mistake for the rest of your painting. You can literally just wait for it to dry and go over it again. Okay, so now you'll need to put the colors into your palette of the colors you see in the picture. So this cat is mostly white and yellow and dark orange and brown. What I like to do is put the lightest color and the darkest color. So the lightest of course is white and I've put white on my palette and the darkest, of course, is brown, and I've also put brown on my palette. And as you can see, I mixed some of the white with brown, with the yellow, with the medium yellow to make a new color. But I will know that I'm going to make tons of other colors. Okay, so with stippling, the first thing you do is put the darkest down on the paper first. So I know the darkest is you know, the eyes, they're black. These stripes up here, they're a very dark orange. So I'm gonna do that first. 
like I said, if you make a mistake, it's not like watercolor where you're kind of stuck with the mistake forever. You can go over it when it dries. Okay, so I've made a brown color. I know it's not perfectly orangey brown, but that's okay. If I want to orange it up, I can put red. Okay, and with stippling, I'm putting dots. These are my dots. I'm putting it here because this is where I see all his dark spots. I'm putting it in the corner of the ear because that's where I see it gets darker. I'm putting it on the border of the ears. So again, I'm using a paintbrush because that's what I love to use. But if you are new to this, I suggest using something else that can create a circle shape. Because you're going to be doing this the whole picture. Okay, I'm going to do one of these stripes that I see on the cat. I'm still putting the dark down. If you think you go too far, don't worry. Again, once it dries, it can be fixed. By the way, if you ever take a break with acrylic paint, I always use a towel to dab the color off. And I have a jar for water where I keep my paintbrushes. It's really important that if you're using acrylic paint for the brush, for the paint to not stay on the brush too long unattended because acrylic has properties where it turns the brush into plastic and then you can't use the brush anymore. So never let your brush get dry with paint on it. Never let the paint dry on the brush. I'm putting dots. Okay, now I can move on to another color. And just because I'm moving on to another color does not mean the dark color is finished. I will go back many times. See how I go back and I go on top when it's dry? Acrylic dries pretty fast, so that's why it's perfect to do stippling with. I have now waited about an hour and the paint on the face is mostly dry. So I can keep going. Now that I've put my bottom layer of stippling on, I can go on with my second layer. to finishing because I'm getting close to the part where I do not see any more canvas anymore. Going back with more white. So like I said, light stuff and details, they go at the end. Okay, I've covered most of what I want to cover. What I should do is wait a little longer for it to dry. But I'm going to show you how you should finish off your painting. So, ideally, I'd finish the whole body and I'd stipple a background too. And then I'd go in and do details only. So, details mean the small things you kind of have to draw in. You're not really painting once you get to that point. So, that would be his eyes. 
Those would be the darker stripes. Darker stripes count as details. I think stippling's so fun because it's something you can just pick up later. If you're like, all right, I'm tired of this painting. You can come back to it later. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the line for his noses. So for these details, you you don't have to stipple. You can just take a thin brush and do this. So I'm going into his nose. When it comes to doing portraits or animals, sometimes you don't need black. You can use a different color. Like here I am going in with blue. And even though there's technically no blue on this picture, it really has the same effect as if I used black. That is a strategy I learned when you're making flowers too. If you like, you know, flowers are usually yellow, orange, pink. If you go in with blue, that has a more powerful effect than just using black. And I should wait for it to dry. Just putting in the white highlight that's present in every eye. I'm definitely not done, but this is a good starting point for you as you stipple your first picture with acrylic. I wish you good luck and start with something simple like an animal or a plant.